the programs that I've seen are better uh, than they were, you know, three or four years ago. I think there is much more of a focus on them. Uh, I think there are two major areas where uh, companies, as a general rule, could improve. One is around the risk assessment, a comprehensive risk assessment across their entire global entity is something that I think would, uh, would be very, very helpful, uh, particularly as companies uh, deploy a limited number of resources that they have to mitigate the, this risk. And then again, I think the other part of it is, you know, getting some understanding of what their third parties are doing. So I think the reality is we're at 601, not 101 on FCPA compliance. I think companies are doing everything they can, but they have to be vigilant because you do not want to be in front of the prosecutor saying we've done nothing. So I think it's been an evolution I think they've done everything they can, but I think there's more to be done. That's just consistent with the trend we've seen the last 10 years of a big uptick in enforcement by the U.S. regulators. But what is more uh, uh, troublesome to me as someone who consults with large multinationals is not just the FCPA enforcement by our regulators, but the enforcement of corruption laws worldwide, including the, the banks that are now uh, investigating and prosecuting or at least civilly prosecuting these kinds of cases. So this is going to continue to, to be on the uptick. It's like a, it's a prosecution of a statute. It's not a one-time thing. And I mean, it, it should send, and I think it has, and we've seen it send a message to uh, multinationals that they need to deal with this issue and have good, effective compliance programs. There's no reason for this to decline. You know, the regulators, SEC and the DOJ in particular, have been telling us that this was going to happen uh, for the past you know, several years. Right, so this is very, very consistent with uh, their view. Uh, this should be consistent with our expectation. And again, there's no need for, there's no reason for us to think that this is going to ever decline. Getting some understanding of how you must do your business. What will be your business model? You know, for example, uh, will your business model uh, require that you use third parties? Uh, third-party business partners who might expose you to risk. You know, how do you gain an understanding of, of those folks? Because at, at the end of the day, you own that risk. Right? They're your business partners, but you ultimately own that risk. So a big part of it is understanding the climate, uh, understanding the industry, understanding where the regulators are focused in those countries, and again, you're understanding you know, who is going to assist you with that business uh, in that country. Exactly. And the, the, right now, the main thrust of the regulators globally and in the U.S. is focusing on who you're doing business with, uh, vendors, distributors, agents. That has been for a while and will continue to be the focus. If you're going to start out right now, do the risk assessment, but focus on your third party, your business partners. The, the most important point to me to assess the effectiveness of, of a compliance program is the people that in, implemented it understand the business. Every compliance program should be different. And this has evolved just like in the money laundering world. There's certain things that all the regulators globally expect. The people that put that compliance program together need to couple that with how the business operates. Companies uh, should first and foremost understand their global risk. It's a very, very difficult thing to get your arms around. Right? Uh, different from country to country. And then uh, overlay a benchmark compliance program against their compliance program and look for gaps. And to the extent that you know they can mitigate those risks themselves and fine, but it's important that they do it. And if that involves you bringing in some expertise to, to do it, then you know, I would strongly suggest that they do that. But it should be focused on uh, understanding the risk.